Certainly appreciate everybody showing up. Uh, and Doc, I think you had a motion that you wanted to make. Joe Ashcraft, chair of the meeting. I'll second that. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, anybody who wants to record this, please feel free to do so. Uh, unlike some of the other meetings where they secretly or sneakily did it, you're free to record this either by uh, voice or motion picture. If that's what you're doing, I don't care. Just anybody who wants to record it, you're welcome to do that. First thing I would like to do is have a roll call of all of those who are members. I don't have an updated membership list, so I'm going to ask you to be on your honor if you are a current member, paid, uh, paid dues member for 2018. I need to see your hand or if you will stand, please, just for a moment. Yes. Yes. Oh, I 
wait a minute, I know this guy, Joe Ashcraft. Remember? <laughs> Richard Henderson. Here. Here, remember? Okay. Frank and Angie Salazar. Here. Okay. Members? Yeah. yeah. Gilbert Guajardo? Remember? Remember? Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're pulling up here. That's fine. Okay. Eric Vasquez. Here, Miller. Miller, okay. Rosa Rosella. I'm sorry, Guerrero Rosella. Rosella. Okay, somebody help me with this. Who is this? Rodella. Rodella, Rodea, Rodea.
housekeeping on the membership. As I mentioned earlier, it is in our bylaws <coughs> that when a new member, that's why I was saying anybody who was a past member from 2015, 16, 17, they wanted to be renewed their membership for whatever reason you did not, you've been vetted by the board, but anybody tonight that is a brand new member, we want your membership, we want you to join the organization uh, to, be, to be with us. But as far as voting rights, you have not been vetted by the board as far as acceptance of a member. Does that, that sound clear? Does that make myself clear? I'm not trying to set you out you know, to the pasture. We want you to be a member. Your membership will be vetted within the next week to 10 days. So any other future votes that come up, you're more than welcome to participate. This particular meeting is for membership. It's a special call membership meeting. So anybody here tonight that is brand new to the membership, has never joined the membership, please raise your hand and identify yourself so I can circle this on the list here for voting. I have a question. Yes. If we mail our membership by check on March 20th um, to the treasurer, okay. are we Again, tonight, just in case. But I don't, we want to be sure. Right. Well, if you mail it in on March 20th, it should have been it should have been vetted within uh, a couple of weeks or so, somewhere around the first of April. Maybe this would be when the board meets, but it should have been accepted by that time. Somebody should have called you, probably for the board. Typically, would have been Marie Stout, mm -hmm. the membership, or maybe the vice president, or somebody else from the board should have called. You. They did not. Okay. Okay, okay anybody else? I saw a couple other hands. Your name, sir? Maybe in Sanchez. And I've got a question. Uh, if I could get a brief, what is the actual vetting process? Well, it's just, it's just a process that we have uh, to make sure that the person is a, a good character and they, they want to help us. Uh, you know, a lot of times there's a lot of stuff to do with the association, uh, and we ask for volunteers and help, like things of that nature. But at the same time, uh, we just want to make sure that we have the right people in the, in the organization. I understand. Thank you. Okay, you said Fabian, is that right? Yes. Yes, sir. And also to verify your class of membership. Class one, two, three. Homeowner, property owner, tenant, leasee, things of that nature. Okay, I'm sorry, there's a couple other names. Jeff? I'm oh, sorry, Fred and Chuck. Okay. Charles Massey, is that right? Okay. Okay. Uh, I saw you in That's fine. That's fine. <coughs> Red lens, right? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. And Alejandro Vargas. Alejandro Vargas, Anybody else? Richard Anderson? Yes, uh, um, I paid, I have a receipt, but I'm not sure about the vetting. Okay, were you a previous member in the last three or four or five years? It's been. Well, you used to be on the board at one time, your secretary. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One time, I was on the board. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But how many years? Actually, well, we don't want to count how many years. We're not talking years or hair around. Okay. Okay. Thanks for your time on that. Just want to make sure that this is uh, crossing all the uh, T's, dotting all the I's. So, as the chair for this, the first order of business, if you've looked at the agenda, 
is I am going to make a motion to remove the entire Government Hill Alliance Board. Do I have a second? I second. Okay. Okay. So now we take a vote. As, as we take a vote, I will ask you to stand so that I can mark your name off that you voted. Okay, so all those in favor of removing the entire Government Hill Alliance Board, please stand up. Yes, let's be a member. Have you been members of the That's right. Okay, and your name, please. Okay, please stay standing, if you will, please. I'm sorry. I got you. I'm sorry. On the bottom, right? Esther? Okay, thank you. You can sit as I get that. Joanne? Okay. Well, I'll probably not. It'd probably be good not to. Doc? Okay. Yeah, please stand up. Again, just, well, I'm marking it down, but she needs to take a count too, please. That's okay, no problem. Okay, Joanne, we got that. Okay. We can sit down. Yeah, once I, once I, well, they're taking a count. As soon as you finish counting, please let them know. But stand until I get your name. Okay. I would think so. But he must on the board at one time. Are you standing? I got 24. Oh, okay. And we got 24. Yes. Yeah. 
Anybody else? Okay, just to make sure that I'm not missing somebody who voted for the removal of the entire GHA board that's currently serving Olga Maris. Vote yes or no? Oh, you're new, right? I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Marcus Fortuna, you're new also, okay? Victor Arenas, 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 Victor, and you're new? Well, I'm in question because of the, I never got vetted. Uh, Did you pay your dues yes. on November, November, November last year? You paid in November of last year? Yeah, yeah. but I never got vetted. Okay. And I'm paying. Okay. Okay. Robert, Ruth, 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, Isola. Isola. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. It's Elida. It's Elida. E L no Elida. E L I D A. Okay. E L I D A. I know. Okay. All right. Okay, Mark Homer, you did stand up, right? Okay. Monica Conception Esperanza Espinosa. Okay. Yes. Did you vote on the motion? Yes or no? Huh? You voted on the motion to remove the board? Okay, all right. Christina Rick. Anybody who is 
for keeping the GHA board that is currently there. The motion is to, to remove them, and those who want to oppose that and say keep the board members, please stand up. You must be a member to stand up. Okay. So there is nobody. Okay. Where? You pointing where? What's Stella? Stella. Okay. Rose. Rose. She didn't sign in. Okay. Uh, Marie Stout, is she still here? Okay. Okay, Marie. Okay, all right. All right. Okay, so the next, the next motion. Okay, the next motion is to, to establish a new set of board of directors for Government Hill Alliance. So, all of those in favor for establishing the new board of Government Hill Alliance, please stand. Once again, we'll do the same vote, please. Okay, this time, okay, you all can't, I'm sorry, go ahead.
second on that motion? I second the motion. Question. Yes. Yes. But on the agenda, it it says Joe Ashcraft is president. Tom Mernon. No, no, that's not. No, no, no. no. He's yeah. elected board, board, board members only. That's, that's not going to be in the position. Yeah. The board will elect. Just in case you got that, there were two right. little that's letters right. that went out. Okay. The first one, the name, as far as name and president, the board actually votes for president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, so on and so forth. So it's our responsibility as a membership to elect those folks to the board, and then the board decides and votes who is going to be president and so forth. And if so, Okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 
we can get together and readdress those issues at a later date. Thank you. So can I do this? Sure. Yeah, the moment you guys want to start, we'll get started on that, señor. Lo que vamos a votar ahorita son los como las reglas de la comunidad. Y tenemos reglas que hay que perfectamente este, apuntar con el Estado. Y la cosa es que los, eh, las reglas no se han hecho desde los 117, no se han reportado. So, lo que vamos a hacer, vamos a regresar a los 200, al 1988, que son más o menos igual. La única cosa es que los, los nuevos, la que quería ser la presidente, hacer en su posición para tres años. La cosa es que no se puede quedar una persona con tres años más que un mayor de la ciudad, pero ella quería quedarse como presidente de la comunidad con tres años. So, lo que queremos hacer es que cada año se puede votar, cambiar las reglas con la, con la comunidad, con, el, con la, la mesa directiva. Y eso es lo que queremos hacer. Hay una vez como estaba antes las reglas de la comunidad. Thank you. 
need a second. Oh, we need a second. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, we need a second. Pardon me. Do I have a second on the motion? I second the motion to accept the petition as evidence for uh, going against the rezoning. Okay, Patty, thank you. All right, so the motion is, once again, I'll just repeat it, so because then I'm going to ask you to stand so we can get a count. Okay? Motion to accept the neighborhood petition as evidence of neighborhood opposition to rezoning. Those who are in favor, please stand one more time. So before you turn that can I just say one thing? Sure. Sure. This is something that I may not personally believe in, but I think that the neighborhood is going to be able to make a decision on this and they're going to be able to make a decision on this and they're going to be able to make a decision being able to present this petition to give your voice to the city. So we may not all agree on the exact same thing, but we should all have a voice. And so I am voting yes to allow this for that reason. motion. Okay, I need to stand because I need to get a count one more time. And I really appreciate it. Okay. Ms. Esther, we got you right. Okay. Okay, one last okay.
the board of directors, members, having not less than one-tenth of the votes of time to be cast at the meeting, or officers or persons that provided certificate of uh, formation of the bylaws of the corporation. So that's the reason we called the meeting. We have the right to call that meeting. Okay? The next thing is <clears throat> section 22 to, uh, 211. This is state law. Removal of directors. A director of a corporation may be removed from office under any procedure provided by the certificate of formation or bylaws of the corporation. In the absence of the provision of removal, the certificate of the bylaws, uh, formation or bylaws, a director may be removed from office with or without cause. We don't need a reason. They gave us the reason. They did it to themselves, so. With or without cause, by, by the persons entitled to elect and designate or appoint the directors. I'm not real smart, but let me make sure you understand that. We voted them in. We can vote them out. We don't need their permission because we voted them in. We can vote one or we can vote them all out. So thank you very much for your time. If anybody would like to see any of this, you're more than welcome to come up here to look at anything that I have as far as records or things that I'm going by. You're more than welcome to that. Is there any questions? Rollo, first. Joe, I have a question in regards to this scheduled meeting for the 30th or not. Okay, she was going to touch on that. We'll touch on that in, one, in just one second. Joanne, yes. Okay, our next um, zoning meeting is on May, Tuesday, May the 1st, and it's 421 uh, Pierce Street. Right, and that's where that motion of opposing zoning comes in from the, from the petition. That's, that's part of that petition that we signed. We want the Neighborhood Association and the Board to accept that as opposition to that because that's not what we're getting. Just so you know, folks, 200, 250 signatures is a whole lot more than 45 to 50 members. That's why we were not real pleased with what was going on. We were not getting the input from the neighborhood. And let me, and if I may, just one other second. Like I said, I was president for three and a half years. There, there are issues every day, every week, every month that come to us from the city, it's either planning, zoning, uh, crews, or whatever. Okay, they come to us and ask for our input on a lot of issues. I've always been a proponent when I was president that the issues pertaining to the neighborhood, such as closing of Rogers Street, building four or five apartments on the interior part of our historical neighborhood, those are issues for the neighborhood. Issues for the neighborhood association. And what I mean by that is, we need to get input from everybody on those types of issues, whether you are a member or not. That's where the 250 of the signatures was set on the back burner, because they weren't getting the input. I would have proposed that and sent that into the city, saying, look, this is what we have. Issues for the neighborhood association is, are we going to have a Christmas party, a Christmas tour party? We're going to have a Fourth of July party. Where are we going to go for National Night Out? Those are issues strictly for the neighborhood association. But when the city asks us, do you want to close Rogers Street? Do you want to build five complexes on uh, 821 Mason? Do you want to tear this house down over here? Do you want to go over here on Area 3 and do this and do that? Those are concerns for the neighborhood. There's 3,450 homes in here, and at only uh, 50 to 60 members, that's about 20 basis points. We need input from the entire neighborhood. That was always what I did. I tried to tell them when I was on the board. I didn't get anywhere with that. And then I was elected off the board last year. But that's the reason. We're not getting the input from the neighborhood. We're getting from what they want to do. That's so, the biggest reason. Is there a question reason. back here? Yes, Tim. Okay. I just want to say thank you to Cindy and Denise and all the people that have been all the effort. We, like my husband, got turned away from the last meeting where the association was voting on whether or not to approve the zoning thing. And with the neighborhood plans getting subsumed by SA Toronto, they can now ask for something to at least offer information to neighborhoods who have no idea that this is happening. It's more, more critical time than ever for us to be allowed to come together and figure out what we're going to do with government health. So thank you for all the hard work because it's been so many hours and days and a lot of tension. And I appreciate being able to be here and be a member. <laughs> What?
more question, and then we're going to finish up with this yeah. Well, knowing Rose like I do, I'm just worried about her reaction and how we should deal with it. We just move we forward and do it in a professional manner, don't worry about it. That's all we can do. Okay. Can That's all we can do. I'll good to that. Okay? So don't have to worry about that. Think okay. Think about an apple pie.
meeting is happening with the politicians from every district. They go from neighborhood to neighborhood. That we were told in Tier 1. They're going to go inform you about your taxes. Meaning, please look at your taxes. I know you've looked at them. It's not just your property itself with your house, your structure, but it's the land. They're going up on your land price. So we need to have enough questions to put those politicians on the spot. Why are you increasing our prices? What are we getting in return? Are we getting better police? Are we getting better streets? Are we getting what for all of this increase? Or are we just thinking about the developers and not the community? So please have your information because we also know that some of the board members are going into the other area of Government Hill and starting to recruit for the developers by offering them information about buying their homes. And some people are saying, oh, I'm going to sell my home. Well, you have to understand, just because you sell your home doesn't mean you're going to get $200,000 to walk away. The tax man will come. So you need to know where your taxes are going to affect you. Is it going to be a complete sale, or are you going to have to pay taxes? So they need to tell you that. Because it's not going to be a very easy situation for people, and they're not being informed. La cosa es que ahorita la gente dice que todo está muy bien, quieren vender sus casas, y la cosa no es tan fácil. Lo puedes vender. Pero las taxas te los van a cobrar. So te van a ofrecer 200 mil dólares, pero vas a tener que pagar taxas. So esas son las diferentes respuestas y preguntas que hay que hacer para que sabes lo que va a estar pasando con todos los que van a invertir aquí en San Antonio y en la comunidad. So hay que tener preguntas listas para los políticos. I'm trying to make everything. I have a question. I had somebody call me up today asking if I had any property. If you can keep that information, I know some of you get mailers. Uno de ustedes también reciben correspondencia en sus casas. Guárdalo. Y queremos enseñar al gobierno que cada vez están, perdón, exponiendo que quieren que vendemos sus casas. Y la cosa es que es su casa, es su vida, es sus raíces. No es falta de dinero. So please keep your information if you're getting any sort of solicitation so we can show the city how these developers are being targeted. I don't have one. 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 Would you please stress to the people to attend that meeting on the 30th? Yes. Yes. Please attend the meeting on the 30th, folks. I mean, it's the There's strength in numbers, okay? We're all individually weak. But if we show up 25 or 30 of us, please, it's good. And to, to those kind of meetings there, not necessarily show up, I believe, as a memory, just as a neighborhood. It's a neighborhood. Right. Yeah. That's one of those deals, that's the differences that I was talking about. Real quick, folks, before, and this is only because of me. Olga, Faris, Faris, I'm sorry, okay, so you guys are paid members tonight? Yes. Okay. okay. Marcos, we're coming on? Okay, you, same thing, you pay tonight? Okay. you come to the meeting on the 30th, bring your information with Victor Arenas, you pay tonight. Okay. One question: When is the deadline for new members to join the Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's always open. It's always open. Yeah. Okay, Fred, you take your news tonight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Robert, I'm sorry, I'm really hot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. 